Hey guys, welcome back to Play Retro. Are you ready to take your handheld to the next level? Well, stay tuned because today I'm going to show you how to install this. This is Newly Firefly. It's the latest update to Newly, a custom firmware for the entire generation of XX handhelds. Now I have this on the RG40XXH. We just received some really great support for this handheld. In this update, we fixed the joysticks. We no longer have cardinal snapping. So we have full 360 motion of those joysticks. We also fixed the RGB lighting. Before with the four inch handhelds, we didn't have RGB lighting around the rings. We'd have to do a bunch of complicated process to get that going. Now it works perfectly. And now we have a menu which we can use to change our RGB light settings. We can now also customize hockeys. We also got support for other great handhelds like its vertical counterpart, the 40XXV, everybody's favorite square handheld, the RG Cube XX, and even some of the old favorites like the Plus and the H, these are gonna work great on this update. We also can't forget about everybody's favorite clamshell, which now has way better hinge support. So that'll go right back into sleep. And then boom. And you can change the behavior of this in the software. And these are the handhelds we're gonna primarily focus on, the ones with Wi-Fi. For the XX handhelds that do not have Wi-Fi, for example, like the RG28XX, the process of installing this is a little bit different. So we're not gonna focus on this or the 2024 uh, handhelds in this video. Now this is just a quick summary of all the improvements made to Newly Firefly, but there's a long list of even more updates, more fixes, more emulator uh, optimization, so better performance, better sleep mode. It's a long, long list of improvements. And this software just keeps getting better and better and better. Also, I might just show you where you can find some of those games that are missing on the stock SD card. But no, Harvey, it's forbidden. I don't care. Somebody must be the sacrificial lamb. If that has to be me, oh well. Just kidding, this is for educational purposes only. Please do not pirate games. That is bad for you. That is bad for this channel. No pirating, thank you. Now that's enough yapping. Let me show you how to put this on your handheld. Okay, let's get started. So I know some of you are not familiar with this sort of stuff, so I'm gonna try my best to make this as easy and simple for you to follow with this step-by-step -step tutorial, okay? Step one. We need some preparation, okay? This is everything you're gonna need for this tutorial. You need a Windows computer. This is a Windows tutorial, okay? You can also do this with a Mac. However, um, this is not the focus of this video. This is a Windows tutorial, okay? Um, next, you're gonna need a micro SD card reader, something like this. This is a QSmart micro SD card reader, USB type. This is the kind I like, but you can also use this kind, the kind that's like kind of flat. That if you have like a laptop or something that has a slot for this, this is gonna work great as well. You're also going to need a brand new SD card. Ideally, I say brand new just so you don't have to wipe it, but you can use a used SD card and just wipe it. And this SD card, you don't want to use a generic one. You want to use one that's reliable, a branded SD card. My two favorite brands are Samsung and SanDisk. Those are like the preferred top brands. However, I found um, PNY brands on Amazon that are really cheap, really, really great um, SD cards. And you want this SD card to be at least 64 gigabytes or bigger. And this is a single card tutorial. So we're only going to use one card and we're not going to make this tutorial more complicated and unnecessary uh for no reason right we're going to do one sd card because it's cheaper and it's easier to follow okay and finally you're going to need your stock sd card so for example this is the sd card that was in my h it's a 64 gig keoxia card uh you just want this card just if you want to take some of the game files on it or the bios files whatever is already whatever content is already on this sd card that you want to keep we can keep that okay um, next, we're going to need to download. Obviously, Newly Firefly, the latest build is as of December 4th, 2024. At the time of filming this video, this is going to bring you to the GitHub. Okay, and we'll get into that installation in a second. And you're going to need some programs. You're going to need a program called Rufus. Rufus is a software that we use for flashing. It looks like this. It's really simple. This is an older version. It's going to work fine. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm going to link you to the latest one and you're also going to need 7-zip because the, the file we get from the GitHub is compressed and we, need, we do need to decompress it in order to flash it to our brand new SD card, okay? And then finally, I will leave everything linked in the description below, um, not just the links to the download and to the programs you're going to need, but also some links if you do need an SD card reader or some reliable SD cards. I will leave some Amazon links to some of the stuff that I use in this video, okay? And now without further ado, let's get right into it. So step two. We're going to download newly, okay? Then we're going to go to click on that link in the description below. It's going to bring you to this GitHub page right here. 
2024 12.04 if there is a newer version download the newer version obviously it's probably going to be better and then you want to scroll down and then you're going to see a list of devices here okay so you see here rg28 xx uh, rg35 xxh whatever device you're going to be installing newly on uh, click that device in my case i'm doing the rg40 xxh so i'm going to go ahead and click this link right here okay now it's going to start to download now we're going to give this a second to download okay and now while that is downloading, I want you to go ahead and grab the latest version of Rufus. I'll go ahead and grab Rufus.4.6.exe or whatever the newest version is. Go ahead and download that as well. And then you're also going to need 7-zip. Just grab the 64-bit version. Go ahead and grab that as well. I guess that would be a great time to ask you to subscribe to Play Retro so you don't miss out on any sort of helpful content like this. Okay, so this thing's finally done, right? We just downloaded it. So let's go ahead and... We're going to find it here wherever it's located. In my case, it's in my downloads. We're going to uh, right click it. I'm going to go down to 7-zip. And then we're going to go extract to this. So now it's going to put it in its own separate folder. That way you know where it is. And now that file is fully extracted. You should have an image file right in this folder. Now, just to make it easy, I do want you to take that image and drag it onto your desktop just so it's easy to find. Okay, I have it right here looks like a cd okay perfect now i want you to take your sd card right whichever one you're using and put it into your sd card reader and insert it into your computer okay now in my case i've already done that let's go ahead and open up rufus now so you should find rufus in your downloads right here let's open it up yes okay we're going to minimize this the first thing you want to check is make sure you're on the correct sd card so over here where it says device you want to click on the right one so mine i labeled it j so i know it's to correct sd cards if you have a bunch of stuff connected to your uh, computer please make sure you're on the correct one that way you don't lose data okay next you want to click here on select and we're going to basically go to our desktop or wherever that file is located right and now you can see newly h700 rg whatever ver whatever a uh, model you chose and just click that image file now you can hit open okay and all you have to do here is click start it's going to give you a little warning. Just press OK. And now give this some time to do its thing to flash the image. OK, this is step three. We're going to flash the image. OK, now when this is done, you should see a bunch of error messages. Just go ahead and exit out of them. Please don't click anything that's not um, important, right? Just cl click out of it. You can close Rufus now. OK, and now you want to close this as well. Make sure everything from the file explorer is closed and now you can safely eject this sd card out of your computer so we can turn on our device for the first time okay guys so step four we've just flashed the firmware to this sd card we're going to go ahead and take it out of here and now all we got to do is put it into the correct slot which is this one it should be labeled tf1 internal okay go ahead and insert that this way like so get a nice click and now let's power this on for the first time now the first boot is really important because it does take a little bit longer. So what I'm gonna do here is allow the device to just boot. And I'm gonna put a timer on screen so you can see how long this actually takes the initial install, okay? Now that first install shouldn't take that long at all, okay? And now one of the first things I want you to do is to turn off this system music because I do feel like it is kind of annoying. So you're gonna press the um, so start button, you're going to go down to sound settings, you're going to go down to front end music, and then go ahead and turn that off so there's no obnoxiously annoying music in here. Now you're going to see you're going to have actually like one game in each uh, section. This is up to you if you want to keep it or not. I personally don't want to keep these games that are not mine, so I would rather just delete them. And the easy way to delete them, just press and hold A. And that's going to bring you over here and you'll see an option under game delete game okay and then yes and then do it for every single game that you don't want okay so now once you're done with that the next step is step five connect to wi-fi okay for a start go down to network settings and then you want to enable wi-fi and then you should see wi-fi ssid and then go ahead and connect to the wi-fi that's yours Okay, so next, the next step you have to do is actually cycle the Wi-Fi on and off until you can see this symbol on your screen, okay? So you're going to go to network settings, and right here where it says uh, enable Wi-Fi, turn that on and off until you can actually get a connected status right here, okay? So once you're connected to Wi-Fi, you're good to go, and now you're ready for the next step, 
loading content. I want you to take your stock SD card and put it on your computer, okay? And you can take the games off of this SD card and put it onto Newly. And I'm gonna show you how in just a second. The other option is, let's say you don't have a stock SD card, maybe you purchased a device without an SD card and you don't have those files, you can find those files online. I'm gonna show you really quickly a really good game collection that I recommend for people who don't have any single um, games on their devices. So right here, this is something called the Tiny Best Set Go. You can grab this file right here, the 5.1 gigabyte file, and this is gonna give you a very good starting point of a good collection of games. A lot of games that are missing from the stock SD card you will find in this five gigabyte file. You can also get the expansion as well. You can get the 64 gig games. That's 47 gigs. It's a lot of PS1 stuff or the, even the 128 gig. That's a lot more stuff. It's up to you if you wanna download this. This is kind of big. Um, I, I like to start with just the five gigs. If you want to get some of the 3D stuff, then go ahead and grab some of the other ones, okay? This is a pretty good place to start if you don't want to use those games on your stock SD card. And once again, this is for educational purposes only. Uh, these games are on this website for game preservation, okay? Let me show you how to put this onto your SD card. So you're going to go into your file explorer, okay? You're going to go into network, okay? And then you'll see here, newly okay if you're connected to the same network as your device you will see this option under network okay so you'll see newly here and now really important you need uh credentials okay the 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 username is root and the password is linux l u n u x okay remember my credentials okay and now once you do that it'll allow you into newly okay so you want to go into the share share folder right here and now you'll find all the stuff you need okay the most important things we, we need are the BIOS folder and the ROMs. ROMs are your games, okay? So you're going to go to ROMs, and then you'll find folders corresponding to all the systems you can play on this thing, okay? For this example, I'm just using a small collection of games here. This is just 50 games from some of my favorite systems, okay? We have 10 from GB, 10 for Game Boy, 10 uh, Game Boy Advance, 10 Game Boy Color, uh, 10 Genesis, and finally 10 Super Nintendo, okay? So we're going to take those five. I'm going to put them in here. We just want to make sure that the names are the same uh, from one folder to the next. So GB, GBA, and GBC, they're all the same over here. So we're going to copy to ROMs. And as you can see, it's going to copy it right where it's supposed to go. Obviously, this is just an example, right? So I'm not using a lot of games. If you do have a lot of games, this is going to take a considerable longer time, especially if you're far from your Wi-Fi router like I am, like I'm currently in my bedroom and my wi-fi router is like all the way on the other side of the house so my wi-fi is a little bit slow you want to be close to your wi-fi that way you can transfer as fast as possible okay okay so we did those three now let's do super nintendo super nintendo is labeled snes so we can just copy that right away and genesis is labeled mega drive so we're going to go ahead and open that folder and we're just going to go ahead and copy all these games into this folder okay so now that that's done, we can close out of this. We can back out of this and we should have some BIOS files that we also need. So we're gonna go back out, back to the share and you'll see a BIOS folder here. And now you can copy your BIOS files, whatever those are. In my case, I just need a few of them. I'm gonna copy that to the BIOS folder, okay? And just like that, you're done with step six, loading your content. Now from here, all you have to do is go into your console. You're gonna go into game collections you're going to update game list. It's going to say really update game list. and You're going to press yes. Now it's going to update. And then when you go to your games, you'll see all your games inside here. OK, and if you really want to, you can just stop here. The tutorial is over. Congratulations. You set up your device with Newly. Now, if you want to take it one step further and you want to do a couple extra things, stay tuned. OK. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to scrape your box art. OK, so if you want to have really nice box art, you can have a picture of the original box art or even a screenshot or a mix of images. You can do that uh, using something called Scraper. OK, so you're going to go to you're going to go to this website called ScreenScraper.fr. OK, and you want to translate this to um, and you want to translate this to English. OK, you're going to go over here. Uh, make a username and password and you're going to click register right you need an account for this if you don't have an account for this it's not going to work for you you're going to have a very small amount of images you can scrape so you do need an account it's completely free that way you can push the the limit 
to how much um, images you can download per day. Okay. And now let's go back onto the device. Now we're going to actually put in those credentials into the scraper. So you're going to press start. You're going to go down to scraper and then right here, you're going to go to scraper settings. And then at the bottom, you should see account and enter your username and password. And then we'll get to the next part. Okay. Okay. So once you've entered your scraper credentials, now you should be able to scrape. Now, once you go into here, you can go into your scraper settings, right? And now you can decide what you want, right? You can have image source, you can have a mix, you can have 2D box art, whatever you like. You can even download videos. You can do fan art. You can do 16 by nine. You can do, you can download manuals as well. Whatever you like, you can set this up yourself, okay? Right here, you're going to go down to filters and then go to systems and then select none and then just select the ones you want to actually do. So I do, don't do all of them at the same time unless you have very little amount of games. So in my case, I just have 50 games. So I'm going to do them all at the same time, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, I go back and then I press scrape now. And then you'll see this thing on the top right corner. It says scraping one of whatever amount of games you have. So now just give this some time. If you've downloaded videos or manuals, just expect it to take a little bit longer just because it is getting more um, media to download. So it's going to take a little bit more time. Okay. So we're going to give this some time. And when it's done, I'm going to show you the results. So when the scraping is finally done, you'll see a message that says scraping finished update game list to apply changes. So like I showed you earlier, go press start, go to game settings and then tools update games list. Yes. And then just like that, you should see your beautiful scraped box art for all your beautiful games. Okay, you can even take it one step further, go down to updates and downloads. And then here you'll also find themes. So you can download any of these beautiful themes and apply them to your handheld. The default one is called art book next. You can also customize the theme. So for this one, for example, you can go to system artwork and then you can pick like a different one. Like the one I was running was noir. So now you'll see this changes and it looks very, very different inside tools. You can go to tools, go to RGB settings, and this is where you can change the RGB lights. Okay. And then if you want to customize your hockeys, you want to go down to game settings, then system settings, par system, advanced configuration, click the one you want to change. You can't do it globally. You have to do each one and then go all the way down to controls and you'll see hockeys in here. And then in here you can change all your different hockeys. For example, load state, save state, whatever systems you plan on playing, the default one, it'll show you and you can change it to whatever you like. So that's pretty awesome. I know it's something a lot of people requested with Newly, so it's finally here. Even though it's not globally, I wish it was globally, but I will take what we can get, right? And there you have it, guys. Newly Firefly, how to install it quick and easy. I tried my best to make this as easy as possible for you guys. There's a lot more I could show you about this software. So many things you can do, system configurations, a bunch of settings you can change. I can show you how to change the boot logo. I can show you how to install ports. There's a lot of things you can do with this software, but the objective of this video is not to make it super long. It's just a quick and easy guide to get you up and running and with a little bit of um, box art scraping, okay? Um, if you run into any issues, please remember I'm a human being, okay? Um, you can always reach out to me, you know, leave me a comment, hey, I ran into this issue and I'll do my best to try to answer or resolve that issue. If you do run into an issue, I know sometimes people run into issue with the Wi-Fi. Um, sometimes you just gotta connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect, and then you'll see it on your computer. If you run into any other issues, please leave a comment and again, I will try to do my best to help you. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you do want a second part to this video um, showing you how to change the boot logo, how to install ports, how to do some of the extra stuff that I don't want to include in this video to not make it too complicated and too much for you guys to digest. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Javi, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.